Hi, it's my patented fake smile. Um, I had an enormous amount of people that wanted me to comment on the, the quote-unquote Peter Lick controversy. Um, the links are below. Petapixel actually posted an article, and then there were uh, four uh, goofs sitting on a couch over at F-Stoppers, you know, debating back and forth for like 30 minutes. I could only take like 20 minutes of it, whether it was real or not. And of course, it's uh, not anything that any lens or any camera would capture. I mean, clouds behind the moon and uh, countless other uh, hardcore math. Uh, obviously, it's a composite of at least three different images. The fact is that wait for it, this is what people are going to hate me for, but it's the truth. Photographers are about the most insecure creatures on earth. Let me see, what's wrong with Peter Lick uh, and that uh, photograph? And like I said, the link is below, you can take a look. It's a huge moon behind a cliff, obviously the dynamic range is really impossible, and perspective of the moon is also impossible. See, what's wrong with that image and him doing that? Absolutely nothing. Um, it's called graphic arts. Um, welcome to the world of Photoshop. Pretty sure Photoshop's been around for a really, uh, really long time. Photography has never been about the truth. I mean, I used to take pictures uh, for a cash because a photography school was in Daytona Beach where I went to school there. And there were a crap load of hotels on Daytona Beach and I would uh, take uh, pictures for them to put in their brochures. And... Uh, you know, no hotel owner, for example, said, hey, you know, we got a dumpy hotel. We would like you really express how crappy our hotel. No, I mean, a true photographer is about making a hell look like heaven, and if they so desire, in a specific instance, not for which they would get paid, to make a heaven look like hell. Um, every photograph is obviously a microscopic moment in time, and uh, the photographer chooses when to press the shutter release and how to expose it. Um, the same photograph, I mean, depending on actually how the uh, dynamic range is expressed or how the exposure is made, I mean, it can look really dark and brooding. You can make a beautiful woman look like a dog and you can make, well, the, the inverse isn't necessarily true, but uh, photography has never been about telling the truth. It's about expressing uh, what the photographer wants to uh, get across. Uh, sometimes things are happenstance and some people say, well, photojournalism is about the truth. Well, that's, that's bullshit. That's absolute bullshit. Photojournalists pick and choose when they want to press the shutter and what the hell they point their telephoto lens at. Anybody that tells you that like hardcore news photography is truthful, I mean, even if it's straight at a camera, that's BS. The photographer chooses where to point it, what the exposure is, and when the hell to press the shutter. I like a man could be like reaching out to his wife that he hasn't seen in like five months because he's, you know, been deployed overseas or something, and he, and the photographer might choose to uh, press the shutter release right as he places both hands on her neck, and someone would look at that picture like that guy is a wife abuser. He's choking that poor girl. It's like no, he's just reaching out and grabbing his wife with love. Photography has never been out the truth. What? Well, how insecure are all these damn photographers that are pissing and moaning about Peter Lick's um, composite uh, photograph of that enormous moon? What, what are they bitching and moaning about? The fact that he's doing what he loves and uh, he's delivering images that people like and he's being paid a lot of money? I mean, is that what the hell they're insecure about? I mean, there's a lot of photographers that need to, like, uncrinkle their panties you know, they're frank, they're pink frilly panties, you know, from between their, you know. <laughs> what, are, what do people care, the guy? You know, it is a, actually a beautiful shot. It, however, of course, it doesn't strike one as reality. But last I looked, people pay a lot of money to go to movie theaters and see stuff like Star Wars and... You know, actually the shot makes me think of like uh, some alien planet where there's a huge ass moon in the sky and then another moon and everything is kind of creepy and beautiful. And it's like, wow, I wish kind of Earth would look like that for a change. People, people don't want the truth. It's the same reason street photography is just effing dead. People are tired of, you know, seeing some poor, miserable, half-suicidal dude sticking a heroin needle in his effing arm. I mean, you take the best photographer on earth, and it's like, here, here's the best camera. Here, go out with a Leica and a uh, Noctilux and, like, you know, wow us. And you take pictures of all sorts of miserable and horrible, depressing things. 
And, uh, you know, even though he's a super famous photographer, people are sick of that crap. Um, photography goes in waves. What the hell people like and what the hell they don't like. Um, I'm actually kind of shocked that people realize that uh, it's a composite image and they're jumping on the guy for, let's see, he's happy, he's making money, and like nobody has a gun to the people that are actually buying the pictures, buying the images. Like, hey, this is beautiful. I would like a really big print to hang on my wall. Um, when the hell has photography been about the truth? Last I call, recall, there's like, you know, you know, like, up teen million people, at least back in the 70s and 80s, that like had uh, velvet paintings of Elvis. And what was that velvet famous painting of like dogs playing poker? I mean, did anybody think that crap was reality? No, people bought it because they liked it. Made them laugh, it made them express some emotion. Anybody that thinks photography is about telling the truth is full of crap. I mean, it's absolute BS. Photography has never been about telling the truth. It's about expressing what the photographer wants to express. You know, someone might have in their heart and mind to express the truth and go out and uh, show what the hell is going down, for example, in photojournalism, but subconsciously someone always presses the shutter release when the hell, if they have the skills. Sometimes, you know, it might be, be like a blind squirrel, you know, finding an acorn here and there, and they just might, like, hit upon it accidentally. But if someone has skills, they like, subconsciously or consciously press the shutter release when the hell they want to. And uh, that's an expression of what the hell the photographer wants uh, the viewer to uh, to feel, to view. So why not people get the hell off of Peter Lick's back for being happy and making money and selling stuff that people want to buy? Maybe, maybe, maybe shut the hell up. Um, photographers are really insecure. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I wish that was him. That's what everybody's thinking. I hate him. He's making money. That's so beautiful. Um, yeah, photography's not about the truth. If you want a truth, go pick up a dictionary and start reading that from cover to cover. Bye.